My name is Jamin Gerker. I'm an associate real estate broker in the state of Alaska. My mission as always is to help you build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family. And today we're talking about the real estate market in Eagle River, Alaska. Now, for those of you who have been watching for a while, you know the Eagle River is a um, kind of a quasi small community that um, I don't want to say it's a suburb, but it's a, a community on the northern part of Anchorage and um, quite a bit of business does happen in this area just because it is such a desirable place to live. And so for that reason, we're going to be talking about what's going on in this small market here and um, really looking at the single family residential condo in the multifamily markets. Before we get started, though, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And let's go and jump into today's market update. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the single family market. And the first thing we want to know in the single family market is how many properties are actually available on the market compared to this time last year. Well, last year, there were 53 properties available on the market for the month that we have the most completed data for, which is going to be for uh, the month of August. And this year it's 63. So seeing a small bump in the number of, in the amount of inventory we're seeing this year as compared to last year. So that's, that's a favorable indication. Let's take a look though, and kind of see what the historically, what we would expect to see around this time of year. Because prior to COVID, we would normally see about a hundred, we'll say about 140 up to about 180 some properties available. So we see 63 still trailing far behind what we would normally see in the inventory for Eagle River for single family homes, but that's still a positive step in the right direction. So I'm going to count that as a win. Now, the next thing we want to look at is what's going on in the number of properties that have actually sold in Eagle River for the month of August. So we see that this time last year, there were 42 properties that sold and now there's 53. So we are seeing a bit of an uptick as well in the number of properties that are actually selling in Eagle River, which does mean that there does continue to be a, a pretty good demand for properties in Eagle River. And if you take a look at some of the tours I've done of the town in 360 video and some of the discussions I've had about Eagle River, you can definitely see why this is the case. Now, again, historically, let's look back here. Um, usually about this time of year, we would see about 50 to about 64 at the high water mark in 2018. So we're kind of par for the course right now because usually we would see in the number of, uh, of 50s for the number of single family properties that are actually selling. So. Um, I will, again, take that as a win. All right, now for the thing that I know everyone really tunes in for, and that is what's actually going on in the average sold price. So we see in the average sold price this year that it went from about 496000 to about 508000 this year, which does mean we're seeing about a 2.33% increase uh, for the year to date for the average sold price. Now, average sold prices... You know, we're dealing with a smaller sample size than we usually would. So it's a little hard to extrapolate clear meeting on exactly what all that means. But what this is a clear indication of is that across the board, we still are seeing an increase for the average sold price for properties in Eagle River. And this is like following on the tail of having a couple of years of really aggressive appreciation because we go back to, well, you know what, let's go year to date back in 2021. We saw about in, well, you know what, in 2020, we'll do it this way. It went 2.71% increase for the average sole price. 2021, the increase was 8.3% increase average sole price. In 22, um, that was our high, high water mark. There was about a 10% increase for the average sole price in 23 it started to settle down a little bit because we don't want to be in double digit appreciation for very long at all because that does create a lot of volatility in the market and i'm not too concerned about seeing steady appreciation over time because that's that's predictable and that's what we want to see and that's healthy and it's unhealthy when you see the market just going gangbusters and taking off too quick so things are starting to settle down a little bit in 2023 it went up about six percent and this year we're about out back to that at 2.3%. So that's actually about where we want to see it increasing. I'd like to see it a little bit closer at about three or 4%. But I mean, that really is kind of par for the course for Eagle River. So things kind of are settling down, but that doesn't mean the market's going backwards. So if you're one of those folks that are waiting for the market to collapse or wait for these prices to, to soften up, that unfortunately is just very unlikely unless the entire economy collapses at this point and real estate is just happens to be one of those sectors that gets impacted. But that is what we're seeing for the single family stuff. We'll talk more about this stuff in the summary. Switching gears a little bit, let's go and take a look and see what's going on in the condo market here in Eagle River. Now, condos 
they're in Eagle River and they're definitely kind of centered around kind of the, the, the thoroughfare area along the old Galena Highway and where most of the, the commercial properties are. It's not a big, big part of the market right at the moment because once you get a condo in this area, you really don't want to let it go. So even though we've only got a couple on the market here and there, it's, you know, there's a, the kind of looks are deceiving. It would make you think there's only like one condo association. There's more. People just don't want to let go of them very often. Now, with that being said, though, we're seeing that the inventory for condos in Eagle River went from four this year to five this year for the number of condos that are available on the market. Normally, we would see somewhere closer to about 40 to like 30 or so condos available. It fluctuates all over the place uh, for a lot of variables, um, not the least of which being that we do have new condo associations coming in. So that obviously can spike the numbers on some years. But uh, what we're seeing is yes, the available inventory for condos still a lot lower than what we've seen historically. The next thing we see is the number of condos that have actually sold in Eagle River went from seven this time last year to six this year. So we're not seeing a big shift one way or the other. Normally around this time of year, we would see about anywhere from 10 to six condos being sold. So not a huge difference here one way or the other, because I mean, condos are still a pretty desirable commodity in the area. All right, now looking at the average sold price for condos here in Eagle River, we see that the average sold price year to date went from about $296,000 this time last year to about $332,000 this year, which means we're seeing about a 12% increase for the average sold price. Now, it wouldn't surprise me at all that the average sold price for condos in Eagle River has increased. I'm not necessarily buying just off of this that it's increased double digits. You know, that does seem a little extreme once we're dealing with such a small sample size. The fact that just some of these condos that are selling are going to be significantly newer, which means that they're going to be going for a lot more than what maybe the, the previous year that we're seeing did is, um, is something we can't really ignore. And it's, again, I'm expecting, it wouldn't surprise me at all that we're seeing a, a really healthy increase for the um, average sold price. I just don't think it's gone up by double digits. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the fluidity we see just with this being such a small sample size. This time last year, we actually saw a decrease of about half of 1%. But the year before that, we saw about an 11.34% increase. And the year before that, rounding up about a 9% increase. And as you can see, these numbers kind of just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, I mean, that really just tells me we're dealing with more of a small sample size. It would not surprise me if it's been steadily increasing, but just because we do have some of these newer condos that might be a little bit bigger coming onto the market, um, I think that's really having an impact on these specific numbers. All right, let's go and take a break real quick here. For those of you who've been watching for a little bit, you know that I host a podcast, so definitely do go listen to that. I interview people who've recently moved up here who kind of share their stories about what it's like living up here in Alaska after they've gotten here, and they kind of share their tips and tricks for how to actually get up here in one piece. So feel free to go check that out in the uh, description section down below. And also, we're starting up our... A monthly meetup again for those of you who are here in the area and this is a meetup for people who've recently moved up here and kind of looking for an opportunity to plug in and and meet other people who have recently moved up here as well so if that's something you'd be interested in i'd absolutely love to meet you make sure you go jump into the facebook group down below because um, that's really the only place i'm going to be talking about specific meet updates and everything so make sure you go jump into that facebook group and um Moving on, let's go and talk about the multifamily market. All that being said, we see that the number of multifamily properties that are actually available on the market was two this time last year and four this time this year. So that's that's a good step in the right direction. Usually around this time of year, we'd see about 12 to 13 properties available. So we're still a long ways off from where we normally are, but that's still a good step in the right direction. All right, so looking at the number of properties that have actually sold in multifamily, we see that this time last year, there was one multifamily property that sold. And this year for the month of August, we see there is one multifamily property that sold. So not a whole lot of changes there one way or the other, normally around this time of year, you know, that's kind of par for the course. You know, we may see one, we may see two. Not a big surprise there one way or the other. All right, looking at the average sold price, um, I'm gonna go through this and then we're, we're gonna unpack it a little bit. So this time last year, the average sold price year to date was about 429,000 and this year it is 653,000. So that's correct. We did see an increase for the average sold price of about 52%. And this is the biggest swing in average sold price of any asset class. Um, really for all the markets that we look at so far this month. 
And what I would say is let's not get too excited because multifamily covers everything from the little duplex that may or may not have actually been originally designed to be a multifamily all the way up the big 30 or 50 unit commercial property that uh, that's obviously um, going to be thrown off all of our numbers because that's obviously going to be a lot more expensive than the little duplex, but it throws all of our numbers off here. So all that being said, it would not surprise me if we saw an increase for the average sold price for multifamily properties in Eagle River. I don't think it's by 52% compared to the year before though. So, you know, maybe don't take that to the bank. All right, so let's go ahead and unpack this stuff a little bit and kind of give you the summary if you are looking at it as a buyer or a seller. So number one, if you are a buyer, this does start to give me a little bit more hope that we're starting to see more properties available on the market than what we've seen in previous years. I am not expecting to suddenly see a ton of properties coming on in the market anytime soon. So if you're thinking you're going to see this big collapse where there's going to be a ton of properties available in all the prices or like at a huge discount, probably not. Okay, that's people have been saying that for about four years at this point. And people have been waiting on the sidelines. I've really gotten the short end of the stick because you know what? I'm actually going to pull this up real quick. Somebody who had bought in 2020 when everything was going crazy and looked like uh, it'd be the best smart thing to do, be the prudent thing to actually wait just to see how the market was going to shake out and uh, preferably crash for some people who are waiting out there. Average sold price at the time was about 391,000. And right now, it's about 508,000. So the average sold price has shot up significantly since then. And for that reason, I tell a lot of people, you know, probably your best bet is just jumping in as quick as you can and planning on staying put for as long as you possibly can. Because investors will tell you it's not timing the market that is what actually going to help you, you know, uh, make the numbers make sense, is spending time in the market that actually does make the difference. So if you're one of those people that think you're you're gonna just outsmart the market and time everything correctly, just just live your life. <laughs> you know, just just live your life. Um, if it makes sense for you to buy right now and you can financially do it, you know the justification is perfectly there as long as you're gonna be staying here for at least two to three years. And um, if not, then you know we'll talk and see if it actually makes sense for you to be looking at it. If you are a seller in this market, it's not the market that we had a couple of years ago where you could just hardly do any work and throw it on the MLS and you've got multiple offers and you're going back and forth. It's not the market that it was a couple of years ago, okay? You have to make sure it's priced correctly and we have to make sure that you know it's staged well and we're doing everything ahead of time to make sure that it looks at its best before we put it onto the market, okay? We can't just throw spaghetti at the wall anymore and hope something sticks and we're gonna get multiple offers. That's just not where we're at. So just because your neighbor's property sold for, you know, 50,000 more than what they were initially asking for with multiple offers does not mean you're going to get that. And we're gonna have to do some work to make sure that uh, we create that scenario as best as we can for you. So this has been your market update for Eagle River. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.